Hello, everybody, and welcome to Livestream with Restream, our weekly product demo and q and I'm your host, Anya, from Restream Team, Austin, Texas, and joining me is Anastasia with Restream Europe. Hi there. Hi, guys. Hey, hey. So nice to see you guys again. Uh, we're starting the shows, uh, our regular shows again in the new year. Finally, 2020 is a little bit behind us, so hopefully 2021 will be great. And uh, here we are again, starting with the more tips on how to improve your live streaming and how to take it uh, to the next level. Absolutely. And to acknowledge some people from the comments here, it's really great to see you guys. I see that uh, Linkswell says hello. I see... Um, hmm. So many people. Uh, I see El, El Samurai Moderno, uh, Ola from Spain, Ola there. Seattle is here. Hi from LinkedIn, from Fabio. Uh, New, uh, Newcastle upon Tyne in UK, great place. I actually been there uh, once in, during my vacation in Scotland. Really cool place. Hey from Philly and cool intro says Randy, who was part of that intro. Good to see you guys here. Welcome, welcome to the show. So real quick, what we're going to do today, we are going to show you around a little bit and kind of show you how you can get started with Restream Studio. We can also, we also want to share um, a couple of things about what's new about the studio in case you haven't been around for a long time, whether it's your first time live streaming at all or you haven't had a chance to go live recently, we'll show you what's new. We'll also share a couple of hacks in terms of how to use Restream Studio in maybe like not your typical unconventional way. And we'll also show some repurposing tips and tricks that might be handy for your live streaming strategy. Most importantly, this conversation is for you. This is where we focus on your questions. And we would love to make sure that uh, if you have any questions for us and any tips, any uh, anything that's confusing, uh, any future requests, please drop them in the chat. And to get this party started, I think I am going to go ahead and encourage you to share what kind of content do you guys stream. Please let us know in the comments. It's going to be very helpful for us to understand what kind of people we have uh, joining us today. So let us know if you're doing gaming, if you're doing social media, if you're doing church service, if you're doing um, anything else, really, just let us know so we'll kind of like have a picture of what's going on. And in the meantime, I think I'll pass the floor to Anastasia so she can show us how to get started with Restream for those who haven't done that before and are kind of just here to understand how to do that for the first time. Hey guys, uh, so thanks Anna for passing the passing it on to me. So please uh, send more details of what you're streaming because I definitely feel like uh, Restream can be used in so many different ways. I have seen people using it to start their sales, to upgrade their sales. For example, pizzeria to uh, deal with COVID and uh, get still get clients. We also obviously seen a lot of churches streaming their Sunday streams, uh, but also like people who want to stream weddings uh, because again during COVID times. Um, it's kind of stay together, but how to transmit it to the entire family, uh, weddings as well. So uh, it's interesting. So uh, send it over and, and I'm going to start presenting a little bit on, I'm going to look into the account and show you <clears throat> how to get started uh, easy. So I'm I see a lot of, yeah, go ahead and share your screen. And while we're doing this, just wanted to quickly acknowledge a couple great comments here. I'm seeing violin music. That's amazing. Podcast. That's a great uh, use case for Restream Studio. We're going to share a little bit with this. So please stick around to the end. We'll show about repurposing for podcasters. And I see a lot of church services, as you mentioned. Live chats, esports, racing, online church. Love that name. Nice. Product presentations for customers, great use case right there. Um, I live streaming my podcast, spirituality, motivation, uh, nice. drawings, paintings. Uh, this is such a great crowd today. Those here. are cool. Oh very creative. Very creative. Uh, very creative. Cool. This is awesome. All right. Let's get started with Restream. Okay, so I'm sure you try to log in to Restream, and so that's what you usually see when you log in. So here you can add channels. Uh, basically, it's where you want to stream to. Uh, the cool thing about Restream, you don't have to choose which channel to add. You can just add them all. So uh, especially if you're starting, I would recommend you to add as many as you can. Um, I'm going to connect to YouTube. Easy done. So I'm logged in um, in incognito mode. So. It's going to ask me my uh, credentials, my password. Um, and, and that's it. 
Uh, not that's it. <laughs> so now it wants me to uh, confirm uh, confirm my password. Hold on a second. So I think I'm gonna be. Uh, this is a little bit unexpected. So first, uh, first time streaming. Uh, first time uh, showing it from uh, in incognito window, and it didn't work out. So let me just show it to you on a different account, uh, which where I, uh, which my credentials are already there. Um, just a second. And I'm just highlighting some comments that I thought were really interesting in terms of the examples of what people are doing with live streaming. Um, local tour company sounds great. I love this one. Childbirth education for education courses. That is wow, amazing. That's pretty that cool. Is, that is so timely, right? Right now when everyone is isolated, but you know, life, life goes on. Twitch streamer. Um, I already highlighted this local tour company would like to stream virtual tours and weekly online stories via social media that is absolutely awesome uh i see some people are super supportive this happened on live that's very true that does happen this is the beauty of of live streaming you know sometimes you just you Mess just up a have little a bit. moment <laughs> yeah you just have a moment I'm sorry. So I'm ready uh, again. So um, here we are back to the YouTube connection uh, place. So I'm just going to add my YouTube. Uh, I have two different YouTube accounts. Uh, I'm going to choose the one that I actually have YouTube channel connected with. If you don't never stream to YouTube, it may take 24 hours for YouTube account to get approved with YouTube. But other than that, you can uh, right away go live streaming. So I just added my first uh, uh, channel. I'm gonna push save here. So I'm gonna add my first channel here. And that's really it. Uh, to add the other channels, I just press add channel and choose from all of these channels that are available. As I was mentioning before, if this is your first time streaming, just stream to as many platforms as you want to, just to get a sense where your audience is. Um, personal uh, profile, Facebook, uh, Twitch, uh, popular Periscope, Twitter, LinkedIn, Mixcloud, Trovo. So they all kind of different, um, have a different flavor to them. And obviously some paid channels like uh, streaming to Facebook groups or customer or team, uh, streaming to your personal destinations. And from here, uh, we just enter live studio. You'll see me here again, hello. Uh, we just check that everything is correct. We check, we go on setup, uh, make sure that we have our titles right. Uh, so whatever that you want to stream to, uh, amazing stream. Um, you add your description. Um, and uh, I make sure that I'm streaming to YouTube and I just press live, go live. That's it. That's all you need to do to get start streaming. Um, if you want to test the stream before you live or actually on YouTube, just to make sure that everything works correctly. So what you do, you toggle your stream, toggle your channel off. Uh, so here, just toggle it off and press go live. This will go live only to restream. It wouldn't go to your any destination at all. But at the same time, it will allow you to check is the background is okay? Is the lighting is okay? Are you coming across very well or not? So this is the first and easiest way to start streaming. So when you want to go live right away and it would go instantly to all of the channels that are toggled on in this on this side. The other way to go to stream uh, is to set up um, event in advance, something that we did right now. So we set it up for last week, we set it up for this week, uh, and we send you all invitation links to join the stream. And this is to be this is done in events section. So right here on the left hand side under events, pressing here, and it gives me possibility to schedule live event. Uh, I have two options here, so I can schedule a either a live stream, like what we're doing now, or I can schedule pre-recorded videos. So meaning something that I already recorded, but then I want to be live. So pre-recorded videos, basically it's a fake live. It looks live for everybody, except you know that it's been made before. To schedule a stream, uh, live streaming, uh, a very easy. Again, you prompted to, to set up uh, your titles and sorry you prompted to set up a title and description uh choose the date choose the thumbnail of the event so upload the image from your uh, file from your computer choose the destination 
Again, here I'm just choosing my own destination. Here I can choose if I want to go public to the event or I want to go into a stream to private event. So only people with the link will be able to see me. And then I press create event. Event is created. So I will just gonna take a while. So a few things here, first and foremost, this is where you go press enter to start streaming into the event. And the second, this is where you take the link to the event itself. So it will get just gonna take me to the link. And this link I can then copy paste and share it with my audience in advance via email or via radio or whatever a podcast to invite uh, guests to join my stream later on. Awesome. So that was a quick one. I hope it wasn't too fast. <laughs> No, no, I think, yeah, I think it makes sense. And people can come back to the replay and kind of like rewatch the steps. But it, like the, the whole point here is that it's very easy to get started. All you need to do is just a couple of minutes of adding your channels and then you can go live instantly or you can go to the events and schedule your life at a specific time, specific date and use that post of scheduling as your promotion efforts for your live streaming. Let's take a couple of questions here from the chat and then we'll move on to our next topic which is going to be what's new with restream studio so i have a, a couple of questions about instagram so i see that james is asking and also corey is saying yeah i'm curious about instagram as well real quick here um instagram currently does not allow third-party applications to stream content to their platforms so instagram only wants you to go live directly from your phone directly into your account no third-party applications no multi-streaming there are some workarounds uh for to solve this problem, you can use a tool that's called Yellow Duck. That's one of the tools out there in the market that we are integrated with. And you could uh, add through your Instagram channel through Yellow Duck and then stream your content to your regular channels and Instagram at the same time. However, remember that this is going to be a one-way street. When you stream to Instagram using Yellow Duck or any other third-party application, that's the Instagram rule, you will not get the comments back to your application. So it's basically going to push the content out, but it's not going to bring anything back. If this is your thing, if you're streaming music or if you're streaming some kind of instructional videos where you don't really care about responding to comments in real time, that might work for you. If not, Instagram currently is not, is not an option, hopefully. Hopefully they will change their policy once they do. We'll be the first ones to bring that destination to you among other restream channels. So that's that's the Instagram thing. Just just to give uh, you a quick idea. Mm -hmm. I also noticed quite a few comments from regarding pre-recorded videos, uh, especially Corey here is asking on the fake life, will the comments be safe to respond to later through the restream? That's true. So all the comments will be populated in the chat the same way as the live video will so that's exactly the benefit of a life uh, of pre-recorded video you can record the video in advance we're actually going to show you today a small hack on how you can do it easier with gray stream and then on the sunday morning or whatever day that you want to whatever day you want to you can just send them live uh, at any destination that you want to and all the comments will be populating and you can respond them live as well the only um, you cannot respond like what we do now so you cannot highlight it but again it's a it's a it's a just a different uh, experience because you're not going to have a fuck up <laughs> like what we had in the beginning with the incognito mode you can control the quality and what happens on the video uh, and the quality and the sound and graphics it's pretty amazing especially if you're thinking about product launches or uh, maybe even churches something that you want to be making sure that is a good quality so definitely pre-recorded videos is your way yeah, absolutely. And uh, one thing that you can do is you can just show up in the chat while the video is live and respond there. Uh, absolutely. Or you can come back to those comments later. So different people choose to do it differently. Some people say, hey, you know what? I'm less stressed when I'm live on camera, but I can just jump in that call when my perfect polished video is going and I'll respond to comments. Some people say, you know what? Let it be, let this end, and then I'll come back and respond to comments on Facebook, LinkedIn, and more, uh, you know, whenever I'm ready. Um, I have some um, other interesting comments here. Uh, Devin says, how can I connect the designs from Restream to Zoom so that people on Zoom can see them? So there is a way to, um, I believe, pull your Zoom meeting into Restream Studio. Is that correct, Anastasia? Yeah, so this is a tricky one. So you cannot stream Restream to Zoom because Zoom is not the hosting platform. So you can only stream to hosting platforms, like where your videos are hosted, like YouTube, Facebook, uh, Vimeo, any other site that is hosting. But Zoom is actually an encoder. 
so we take the stream. We can take the stream from Zoom and then can uh, add the overlays or add um, uh, studio features and push it into your destinations, live destinations. I might just add that this feature is coming soon. <laughs> so. Um, uh, what I'm uh, suggesting you guys is to try Restream uh, as a instead of like a Zoom alternative. Uh, at the moment, we uh, have a possibility to add uh, up to ten guests to the stream, so nine guests and your ten. Uh, and with that possibility, you can also brand your stream, uh, which is amazing way to. Um, to show you're more professional uh, and I'll definitely upgrade your uh, regular sales calls or regular uh, calls in general. Uh, Anya, you wanted to mention more, more on this? Yeah, just a couple of things. Uh, so yeah, the Great Stream Studio, when Anastasia says that we have 10 guests that can come in, those are 10 people that will actually appear on the screen, right? Like those are your co-host, panelists, speakers. The number of people who can watch you is not limited because it just, you know, whoever shows up on your end platform. If you want to make it more closed, like a lot of times people say, I want to use Zoom because I want to register people. I want to have a special group, special exclusive content. It's not for everybody. No problem. You can always create a closed Facebook group and still use Restream to stream to that closed group and add members according to your members list or according to your, uh, your preference. So there are lots of different ways. So we definitely recommend trying Restream Studio uh, versus, uh, versus trying to add on top of Zoom because that can be a little bit more complex, but it's also doable. And we are kind of like working on some um, suggestions on in, in that space. I see Karen is asking, very helpful so far. I know it sounds old, but there are other directions in writing anywhere. Absolutely, it's not old, by the way. A lot of people prefer to consume information through writing. This is just, you know, this is a new, a new thing, but you know, we, we're all different. We do have a help center. Uh, you can find it on Restream website. And if you just Google Restream Help Center, it's going to be one of the first links to pop up. And most of our instructions are there in, in the form of an article with screenshots. So that's going to be very helpful for you if you prefer to kind of read and follow along. Um, so yeah, that's absolutely something that we do. How did you uh, set up the background on this stream? This is a great question, uh, Rebecca. We do have a wonderful designer team. Uh, big shout out to Gia, who is our uh, designer for most of our live streaming uh, graphics. Um, he's amazing. So I'm gonna hide. Um, I'm gonna hide Anastasia and myself for just a second to show. Do you, you. want to? Actually Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cut it off. Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, this is something that you can create in any graphic uh, program, right? Like this was designed in Figma, but you can design it in Canva, in Placeit. There are many, many different um, different solutions that allow you to design the backgrounds, right? And then once you do have that background, all you do is you just go to the graphics, you upload it into our backgrounds, and and here you are. And there's some backgrounds that we actually have um, already as default. So if you log into your studio and go to backgrounds, there are lots of different colors and options out there. Um, yeah, Anastasia, sorry, sorry to cut you off. But what was? Um, do you guys want to? Anna, do you want to take a show a little bit of uh, Restream how it looks like uh, on the studio side, the, all the backgrounds and graphics, uh, just to make it uh, from uh, example to presentation, so to say. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let me. Oh, so I am trying to. I, I'm using Firefox for the first time, and this is kind of, kind of new stuff for me. So, um, I was gonna. Yeah, for some reason, it's not letting me do this right now in Firefox. So, so I can. Uh, I can demonstrate. Yeah, if you don't it mind sharing, that would be. Um, that would be great. So, um, here we are again. So I'm gonna start presenting my screen. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were just here with the, our um, event. We created event. I entered the studio. Hello, guys, again. So a uh, few things that you can do here uh, is definitely graphics, definitely graphics. So some of the things, uh, obviously, you can set up uh, how your name is displayed. And I don't have a name, <laughs> not yet. Uh, I have a lot of default uh, overlays uploaded to me. So, for example, this is overlay that uh, I can, we I'm showing uh, we're currently using. But also, you can upload your own customer uh, custom overlays and make it more pretty for yourself. Uh, also, we can have we have uh, music. Uh, I'm going to mute here. We have a uh, countdown music that uh, we can start at the beginning of the stream uh, or 
it can be started at the uh, at the end of the stream as well. We have a different background. Uh, so you can see I'm toggling myself off to show the background. And this is basically uh, what happens. Everything that you see in this screen uh, is basically uh, what will be presented uh, in the restream. So if whatever you're streaming uh, here, this is what will be shown. So whatever has is here, it will be on the your stream. So you can choose here a different background, uh, different overlays, and you can play around. So you can add something that is already custom, but you can also create your own. Uh, here, what we we using for chats to display chat, and of course captions. All of us in the stream, and this is where you can um, change the way they look and the way they feel it kind of looks, it looks cool. <laughs> uh, and here's the controls over the guests. So I, at the moment, I'm the only speaker on this stream, so there's no guests. Uh, and here's the a little bit more when you as soon as you have guests, if there is more functionality with different layouts of your stream. Uh, Anna, back to you. Any questions on this? Yeah, I think that was great. I think that was very helpful for people to kind of like see the interface so they can get, um, you know, get, get a better understanding how it looks. But the best thing to explore this is just to log in and play and poke the buttons. Um, I'm sure most of them are pretty intuitive and self-explanatory. A couple more questions that, you know, we have so many guys don't hesitate to repeat them if we, if, we, if you asked a question a long time ago, because we're trying to go through them as much as we can. Does your stream allow uh, you settings to adjust when your audio is not syncing with your video. So to avoid disynchronization between audio and video, um, it's it's basically the question of your camera and mic, like how you how your gear setup looks. If you're using web camera, it's unlikely that your audio and video will be unsynced. It could happen if you have very slow internet connection, but most of the time it should be in sync. Not, right now I'm using a DSLR camera, which is a most a mo the more complicated setup, and I'm using Elgato's CamLink. As you can see with this modern camera, this is one of the newer Canons that I'm using. Uh, the, the latency pretty much is non-existent. Uh, but specifically in, on the setting side of things, we currently don't have the ability to adjust your audio to your video. So one thing that you can do is once your stream is over, you can go to the recordings, you can download the recording, and, and you can also download the audio. And then if you're using any kind of specific more complex software, you can sync them that way if you're repurposing. But in the live stream, most of the time, if you're using web camera and good internet, which is the use case for most of us, uh, you're not going to get like big latency or disynchronization. So it shouldn't be your problem. Yeah, but if this something happens, and usually, it, as Anna pointed out, it's usually either your camera or your internet. And if in cases it's in your internet, you can just refresh the browser. So just just literally refresh the page uh, and it will allow the system to sync back sync. There's so many like very specific questions okay. here, which I love. I love that. So Charles Pass, what if I'm running a, the restream event, but I'm not going to be on camera? I would need to bring in another person from another camera. How do I do that? Um, so we're we're hosting Virtual Gal, which is um, awesome. So uh, we do have the ability for you to run the stream and be completely hidden. Um, in a second, we'll demo that with Anastasia for you. So um, what you can do is you can both log in to the same account, you and the person that you want to have on camera. Once the time comes and you go live, if you don't want to be on camera, all you need to do is just toggle yourself out. Um, and and I'll do that right now. So Anastasia, keep talking. So no one can hear you anymore. And you just can kind of become that secret behind the scenes. Hello, so <laughs> Anya toggled herself off and uh, this is very easy to do. So that functionality is available on the guests, the small guest uh, side um, on the right can, uh, corner. So toggle in or toggle off yourself off uh, or guests or any video or any caption that you want to have. Um, so that allows you also to be a host on the stream or allows you to be uh, um, streaming, for example, on the audio without any video uh, footage. So you can toggle yourself off and just show the background and audio. Yeah, and as you noticed, while I was off, I was still controlling the chat. I showed another caption with Twitter. So you can do all the things that you're doing when you're on camera, but actually be the behind the scenes producer while we have someone else as a presenter. Another way to do that is to have someone join as a guest. So for example, if you're talking person doesn't really need the controls uh, and you don't have to be 
co-producers. You just want that person to talk. You can invite them as a guest and still toggle yourself out and allow them to speak while you're controlling uh, the graphics and the captions. So it kind of depends on your specific use case. But it sounds like in your case, it could both ways could work. If you have a lot of people joining, guest option will be easier because then those people don't have to log in at the same time. If it's just two of you, you and the presenter, you might as well be co-hosting. All right. I, I see the next question from... Um... So how are you highlighting the comments from Anya? So she, she was quicker than me uh, in the comments. So uh, it's also very easy to be done. Uh, and I think that's where uh, it's all the chat for us is appearing in the chat box in the studio. Just by pressing on the chat, uh, it highlights it right away into the stream. Uh, and again, as Anya was uh, pointed out, Start streaming. Just get it. A, give it a try. Toggle all your channels off, and do it. And try it off. And you can see all the functionality. The only thing is that uh, at the moment, chat only works if you're live. So this could be um, then maybe stream to unlisted event. While we are on this chat topic, I want to show you also one thing that is kind of in in our what's new with Restream Studio section. So we recently introduced a chat overlay, which allows you to display the whole chat on your screen. And I'm going to show you how this is going to look. See here, I just toggled that chat overlay. Um, I, I brought that on. And you can see how uh, the comments from you guys uh, are starting to appear on the screen. So in this case, I'm not highlighting them. I'm not filtering them. I'm just allowing all of them to, to appear. And then everyone on any platform can see what people are saying from YouTube, from other, from other channels. So uh, this, is, this is kind of like a quick little demo. I mean, it's not, not going to work for everything. But if, if part of your experience is to show everything that everyone is saying, this is, a, is, this is a good way to do it. You can still go back to chat and highlight the comments like I'm highlighting Lars right now. Uh, just, you know, just something else for you to, uh, to consider. Oh I my. got this. Uh, I got this comment from James uh, regarding. I want to stream a virtual conference or classes and receive fees. So that's amazing question, uh, James. Thank you for asking. Uh, this is something coming very very soon. I'm super excited about it. Uh, we currently don't allow you to. We we don't collect fees or we don't charge. Uh, uh, we don't have functionality to charge money. There are two things you can do. So first of all, you can create. Um, private Facebook event uh, and private Facebook group and unlisted event uh, and only share those links with people who paid you. So this is the first option, private uh, Facebook group and unlisted YouTube event is the first option. And the second option, which is gonna come uh, very soon is that we are partnering with some virtual platforms, which will do that functionality. They will collect money and uh, it would be possible to stream it through Restream. So you don't need to register anywhere else. You just register with Restream and you get that functionality. So this is coming in very soon, like in next month or so. Awesome. Yeah, that's great news. Um, I just wanted to highlight this comment, this quick question from Wesley. He's saying, is it possible to use captioning services while you restream? We do get that question quite a bit. We're thinking in the direction of adding captioning functionality directly in the restream studio. Right now, what we're seeing is that end platforms are doing a pretty decent job with captioning. If you're currently experiencing us on YouTube or Facebook, you can probably click captions and, and you will see how the closed captions actually happen in real time. And they're doing, they're pretty accurate and doing a really good job. We believe that LinkedIn is probably not far behind on this. It's probably happening soon as well. Uh, but in the meantime, we are researching opportunities to partner with someone to get that done on the studio end of things. But this is the solution and workaround that we're offering at this time. Um, and there's also a question from Richard that I will let you answer, Anastasia. It's about our favorite chat. Can I embed Restream on my website while I'm live? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. And in fact, I would highly recommend to do it uh, because, uh, as I said, if you're just starting streaming and you're not sure where your audience is, that's a good way to test where is it and um, stream to many destinations as possible, including your website. Uh, at the moment, in order to stream to your website, we would recommend you to embed a video from, let's say, YouTube. Uh, or from paid service like Akamai, which supports uh, uh, custom or private uh, is, um, CDN. So I would um, 
recommend using one of those options uh, where you can send this, then you can embed video to the website. Uh, we also have Restream uh, widget that supports the same functionality, uh, but it's still in beta. So uh, YouTube <laughs> embedded and or Akamai. Cool. Um, I found a really interesting one from Nick here. Hey, I'm just about to subscribe to Vimeo, uh, Vimeo Premium for streaming, and they include the, the, the options for multi-streaming. Uh, is it the same feature, or do you offer anything extra of interest? So uh, Restream definitely offers you a lot more destinations to go to. Uh, we allow you to double your streams on end platforms such as Facebook. For example, you can go to multiple Facebook groups, multiple Facebook pages and profiles. Same for YouTube. If you have a couple of YouTube channels that you stream to or manage, you basically have the ability to, depending on your plan, to go to 30, 40, and even more platforms um, at the same time. So there are a lot more destinations and channels that you can stream content to. Uh, we also have uh, the ability to schedule pre-recorded streams. And this issue kind of touched on that a little bit with the events. This is not something that, to the best of our knowledge, uh, Vimeo is supporting right now, but you can pre-record your stream and then push it live. Um, and, and then whatever you streamed earlier, you can also access it in the recording and then restream, basically recycle it and repush it live on your channels. So there are several differences and 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 things that you can kind of play around with. Uh, I definitely recommend you to get in touch with our support team. We do have customer experience folks and uh, PD folks who can kind of like walk walk you through the options that we have depending on your specific needs. So there's this chat window in on the website in the bottom right corner uh, and folks there are very helpful. They're 24 seven real humans. So definitely um, if you're kind of in between that decision, drop us a line and we'll, we'll show you what we can do uh, differently in order to service uh, to serve your needs. Actually, um, one of my favorite things why I recommend people to rest restream uh, versus I, 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 there's competition, I know. Uh, my favorite thing about restream is that we eager to improve and learn. Uh, I really love that we're pushing a lot of new features very quickly and we definitely take a lot of users feedback uh, and we improve fast. So for example, like uh, the uh, chat the graphic that you can see now, it was launched just a month ago, uh, but it's changing so fast. And I love about it, I love about this, about Restream, the functionality about uh, with taking fees for your uh, streams, it's coming very soon. So definitely it's worth sticking around and seeing what else is coming very soon. Absolutely. Just a couple of very quick ones here. Um, is branding extra? So uh, pers like br branding your streams starts at your professional plan, I believe. So you do need a pay plan in order to be able to brand your streams. Um, and also there is a question, if it is possible to share videos or pictures or documents. Yes, just like with, uh, we did earlier with Anastasia, if you share your screen, you can share um, images, pictures, documents, and even videos. Uh, you can play a video link from YouTube or anything else. You just need to make sure you check in the box in the browser pop-up that allows you to share sound as well if you don't want your video to be silent. Uh, but yes, you can definitely share all, all of those things. And you can also utilize our chat as the uh, as a space where you can share the link. So you can drop the link in the chat and then people can click it if you want it to be clickable. So definitely, um, definitely lots, lots of options. Can the hosts share their screen simultaneously? Absolutely. You can have up to 10, 20 different screens at the same time. So it's just uh, how you will manage. And then at the bottom of your stream, you can have the functionality of how the uh, stream will look like and the guests will look like there. Yeah, I absolutely. Got this. I thought this was it was interesting from day one as well. Is there a way to record what I have done on restream with my guest and share it later? This live is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, yes, it's possible. Yes. So uh, when you go live in studio and you have all your channels toggled off or toggled in, we automatically record everything that happens in the studio. So as our stream goes, we're also recording it. And then this exactly recording can be then later scheduled as pre-recorded video to go live at any time. That's exactly the beach life I dream about uh, uh, if I'm uh, creating a content in advance, uh, just do it on a Monday or Tuesday and then uh, push it live whenever uh, it needs to be live. 
Yeah, absolutely. And this is another hack that we're going to kind of like run through in the end of the stream to show you that it's very easy to go to your uh, recordings. And um, it's also very easy to use Restream as just a recording only. So a lot of times podcasters, speaking of podcasters who were checking in earlier today, uh, have guests that are comfortable to do an interview or participate in the discussion, but they don't want to be on video and especially they really get freaked out when you say hey we're gonna go live it's gonna be instant in real time so a lot of times you can actually record those interviews in the restream studio by toggling off all the channels clicking go live and then going to recording and then repurposing editing those, those videos as you wish and then maybe posting parts of them maybe posting short clips or maybe the whole thing depending on, on how you how you roll so that's definitely definitely a possibility I see questions from Groovy. Uh, I love Restream. Thank you. <laughs> this is super, super appreciated. And thanks for letting us know. We like that feedback. Uh, when you will have mobile app? A great question. And it's coming. <laughs> uh, it's coming soon as well. It's in the pipeline, product pipeline. I don't have ATA at the moment, but it's in product roadmap. Absolutely. Um, so there are lots of questions about streaming with Zoom and Restream. So uh, I would really like to understand a little better about your use case. Like, what are you using Zoom for? Um, because it sounds like you want to have the ability to highlight comments like we're doing right now, to brand your stream, to add those logos and overlays. But you also want to use Zoom. Zoom is an encoder, right? Like, it's the same. Uh, it does the same thing that Studio does in terms of capturing your video. And then from Zoom, you want to send it somewhere, right? Like you most of the time would send it to either a social platform, unless you're doing some kind of a webinar or just a con like just a conversation, just a call. Um, so it would be really interesting for us to kind of understand like what's your specific use case, because everything that you can do um, with uh, with graphics, you can do in studio, and you might might as well just skip Zoom part. Um, the only different situation would be if you have a lot of people on screen. So if together with you you have more than 10 people who need to be on video talking, you know, being being able to to interact with the uh, with the chatters. In that case, you might prefer to use Zoom or webinars. And in that case, um, that's that's something that's kind of in the works right now to be able to pull your Zoom meeting into studio and then put all those um, overlays and graphics <clears throat> on top of that. All right. But Ar Ar Arju, if you um, just give it a try as well, uh, using Studio with your own graphic, your company graphic, and uh, do, the uh, do the stream, invite more people and see how that works. Uh, we also capture Zoom, no problem with that. You can do it from OBS or directly to Studio. So no problem, just contact our support and we will be happy to help you. Or uh, we also have a very comprehensive health center with videos on how to do this. Um, I also saw this uh, kind of cool question from Cordell. Uh, please explain our team P. So uh, this is amazing functionality that we have. I think it's amazing because it allows you to stream to mo uh, destinations that are not listed in our regular destinations. So I think the common uh, use cases, is, is you, we all know YouTube, we all know Facebook, we all know maybe, um, Twitter or so this is common hosting platforms, but there are some that are not that popular popular or we not yet have discovered them. For example, uh, Trovo Life, which we recently added or for gaming or there's multiple uh, gaming destinations or multiple uh, destination hosting platforms for um, DJs or something like this. Those platforms we don't we haven't added yet to our list, but you can use customer or TMP to stream to them. Only thing you need to have is a stream key. If the platform supports the stream key, uh, then you can stream to this through the stream. So any website, any hosting platform, really. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I saw another good question here from Susan uh, that, that I would love to address. Uh, is there a way to show a timer to set for how long someone talks? or for some other reason. So um, there are two ways to solve this problem, right? One way is coming and it's called animated overlays. So this is something that we're working on very hard right now. Um, this is one of the things that I champion personally because I think those are very helpful. So when uh, when you can do the same thing as you do with overlay, just co covering your video with a graphic, but instead of having a static graphic, you have uh, something moving and the timer uh, or stopwatch is a great example for that. Right now as a workaround, what you can do is you can play a video 
from your computer. Uh, just record a video of a timer and uh, use your local source file that you can connect like this. And here is me and Anastasia talking. And instead of this little promo video that we're using right now, you could use uh, the timer with a clock and with music as you can hear it. And then at any time when you're done with this, you can just toggle it off and it will be uh, over. So this is one workaround that you can do right now, but animated overlays, I hear you, Susan. I can't wait to hear them and see them as well. All right. So what else we have? Uh, I uh, got this uh, question from Glenda. It sounds like uh, she really needs help. Uh, uh, Glenda, if uh, if there is any possibility, can I ask you to drop, uh, I think for personal information, could you ask you to contact our support? We will be happy to jump on it right away or just respond to the invitation email that you received. It, it was sent by me, so uh, I will receive your response. I'll be very happy to, to jump on the call and explain you how to get started. Uh, in general, I wanted to use the opportunity to highlight that we do have 24 seven support chat, live chat. We have amazing people across the globe uh, helping you, helping us to get you guys streaming. And this is, um, and their knowledge is uh, amazing. And they will can give you a different uh, workarounds or show you how to set it up. So please, uh, um, Glenda, please contact the support or just answer the email, invitation email from me. I like this question from uh, Cynthia from LinkedIn. Do you have restream coaches or pros that can do a bootcamp type group? Uh, kind of what uh, you were saying uh, to do a call up. This is a really good um, idea, Cynthia. Uh, we do have, so right now, one thing that you can do is you can follow our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook channel. We do have a lot of shows that are focusing on different aspects of live streaming and we have great educators, really successful opinion leaders and um, influencers in live streaming space that can teach you different things, starting from how to be confident on live video all the way up to how to use some specific parts um, and, and tools within the Restream uh, ecosystem. So they are kind of like breaking down different topics from graphics to remote production to um, to growing your community and audience and promoting your streams or even repurposing your content. Uh, we do plan to create a group on Facebook specifically for content creators that are business-minded and oriented, and we are definitely interested in collaborating. So please uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. It's Anya Rosina at Restream. You could probably find me pretty easily. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's connect and chat uh, to see what you had in mind. But yes, more training and more coaching more Facebook group community is coming soon. Um, great, great question. Thanks so much for, for asking. Cool. Uh, I got a, I saw a lot of comments about people asking, is it possible to log in with two people and uh, uh, one person monitoring chat? And that's actually what we're doing right now. So when mm -hmm. Anna is speaking, my eyes are on the left. I'm just checking the chats and seeing which questions is there to uh, we should answer. And when I'm speaking, Anna doing the same. She's looking at the left <laughs> just to see uh, what comments is there. So definitely, it's possible. You can uh, control. You can control the chat. What's happening, or you can. Uh, do it via, um, or you can invite a guest or somebody else to, to do that as well. Uh, I see Anna found a cool question as well. Yeah, speaking of guests, right? How do you invite a guest on Restream? Uh, how do they connect? Can you send them a link to connect to Restream or do they have to download an app? The beauty of Restream is that it is a completely web browser application. There's nothing to download, nor for you, nor for your guests. For your guests, it's extremely easy because all you need to do is just copy the link from either your studio if you're going to go live instantly or from your event if you created that event in advance. There's a special link for those that's different from your uh, regular studio space. In that case, once once you copied that link, there are many ways how you can distribute it. You can send it in, in the email. You can send it in any chat message that you're using. You can even add it to your calendar as a destination. When the time arrives and your guest needs to join you, they will just click the link. All they will need to do is enter their name say join and allow Restream to access their camera and microphone in order for us and your community to be able to see and hear them. That is all that is asked for them. Nothing to download, nothing to sign up for or register or pay, none of those things. They just click the link, give the permissions and they're ready to go. So uh, probably the easiest way for, for you to invite people to join you, uh, your live conversation. I just wanna, so if we're gonna, so, so we're 
is in the middle of a stream and I just wanna let you know, guys, stick around. We're gonna have a discount. Uh, we're gonna share a discount for our services, uh, discounted services very soon. So you can try one of our business plans or uh, paid plans uh, with discounted offer. So stick around uh, while we're starting to respond to more questions and also please uh, repeat questions if we miss some of them. And Susan said, you guys talk really fast. Is it going to be available for review? Yes, absolutely. This stream is going to stay on all and platforms, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. Uh, so feel free to watch the replay in a very specific part, uh, you know, which, whichever question you, you were interested in. Sorry for being fast. We're trying to answer as many questions as we can today. And uh, yeah, so we appreciate your patience with us and uh, appreciate you sticking around. All right. I see this question from Hope. Uh, is it possible to do the same kind of private event on LinkedIn instead of Facebook? Um, the short answer is yes. Uh, it's a little bit um, not so. It's a little bit less easy to to set up. So you would need to create a event on LinkedIn first, uh, and then set it up for privacy, and then stream to it from Restream. So yes, the short answer is yes, it's possible. I would encourage you to check our Health Center articles to see how it's exactly done. Awesome. Uh, quick question here from Tracy. Does Restream work with Ecamm? Yes, it does. You will need to create an account with Restream at your destination, just like Anastasia showed in the beginning of the stream. And then once you are in Ecamm, you will select go to Restream instead of going to YouTube or, or Facebook. And in that case, uh, all the destinations that you have activated on your Restream channels, you can stream from Ecamm to all of them. It's a great question. Thanks for uh, that's and that's another beautiful, powerful part of Restream, right? We're integrated with so many different things. You can multi-stream your Zoom meeting, you can multi-stream your OBS stream, your Ecamm, um, and and many more. So that's um, yeah, that's definitely really really good to hear. All right. I see this questions from Daniel. Can you demo on how to set up live videos, uh, best practices, and best stream results? So next, uh, so today demo is our uh, for kind of getting started uh, and very basic editing channels and getting off the ground with Zoom or anything. Um, next week we will host a more uh, advanced demo. We will talk about more specifically features in Studio uh, and as well as cover some hidden gems in in the Restream. So please join us next next week as well. So to get more tips. Absolutely. Um, one very specific question here from Kiwi of the of the coast, is there a way to use more than one overlay at a time? At this point, you need to use one overlay. Um, you can use multiple, but you can design your overlay the way you want. So if you want to have multiple different elements on your overlay, uh, usually what we do, uh, for example, I have an overlay with our names and I have an overlay with our logo only and I have an overlay with my name only in case you know, something happens and my guest doesn't join me. So you can actually set up like multiple overlays there and then move between them uh, and have like the most the, the, the one that has everything uh, in order to accomplish what I think you're trying to accomplish that you know you have different options uh, depending on the the conversation that you're having all right I think um, I think it's time. There's so many different questions. There's a question about multiple cameras. Uh, we currently do not support multiple cameras per person. So it's one camera only in the studio. If you want to use multiple cameras, you might do something like OBS to restream. And, and in that case, you can have multiple video and audio sources. Uh, we are, however, thinking in that direction. And uh, because this is a very common request, a lot of people want multi-camera support. So we will try to bring it to you as soon as we can. Uh, to be honest with you, I find that people find a workaround and I thought it was super cool. People just oh, yeah. add different cameras as guests. And then That's you true. can, uh, so especially if you're streaming from mobile, like through Ecom or whatever, just normal mobile as a source, um, just uh, multiple cameras and join them as a guest. And then you can switch between all the different uh, guests and obviously we'll switch between different angles and different cameras. So I thought it was pretty cool. A lot of people use that that way for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All um, right. I see also a question. If I play music while I paint and if I do, but it's unclear and wobbly. So basically everything that happens in the screen that I was showing earlier, we capture. So if the music is in, is you can hear it in the stream, uh, then it will be displayed as well in the, uh, sorry, it will be also displayed in the end stream as well. So, so everything that is in the screen. Uh, if 
this is not enough. You can always add uh, your own music and set it as a guest or set it as a pre-uploaded video. Um, just uh, one more th one more guest and it will be always playing while you painting, for sure. It's possible. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so I guess we are going to uh, very quickly run through just just a couple of things that you know we kind of promised in in this in the stream. Uh, we promised to share a couple of hacks for your live video marketing strategy. This is kind of something in in relation to what people were asking about how to take the most advantage, how to be um, how to be the best with live streaming. So two hacks that I wanted to share with you guys uh, is. Number one is recording only. We kind of talked about this before. Uh, this is a great opportunity for podcasters or anyone really who has people who want to join their stream, but not necessarily radio comfortable to go live immediately. So what you can do is you can invite them in the studio. You can toggle off all your channels, go live, record your video, and then repurpose it and uh, re-edit it. So it kind of gives people a little bit more comfort that, hey, this is this is recording. This is editable. It's not just going live right, right away. So this is one way how you could use... Um, Restream Studio for your marketing strategy. Another way that I personally use quite a bit and wanted to share with you guys was all those Zoom folks that were sharing uh, about how they're using Zoom and how that's important is I actually use Restream Studio as a solution for meetings. So what I do when I need to talk to somebody on my team or on influencer uh, side of things, I invite them as guests to my studio and then I can brand my stream, I can put my logos, I can create those cool captions, I can highlight certain things um, in our conversation, build the flow with the captions. And that creates this really interesting experience for me pitching, potentially selling, uh, but at the same time having all this branded and animated layouty overlay experience for them. And if I really want, if this meeting is really important, I can also do the untoggle of channels and record it so I can review it later. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, so those are two hacks that I wanted to share with you. And also we promised to share a couple of ways how to repurpose your live streams. Again, from our experience, how we repurpose our shows with Restream Studio. There are three things that uh, we do a lot, definitely. One is podcasts. So it's very easy to combine live streaming and podcasting. If you go live with Restream Studio, then you go to your recording and download your audio. You can edit it later or put into your podcast system as it is. We, for example, use Anchor. Uh, it's a great solution that allows us to push our podcast on Apple, Spotify, and multiple other destinations at the same time. We just create graphics and templates once, and then we just add audios, name the episode, and boom, they're right there for people who want to experience our content with audio only. Another way to repurpose your live streams is creating short clips. So if you have some editing skills, you can download the recording of your video and create a little bitty, maybe 30 seconds, maybe one minute, maybe two minute clips from your conversation. This is great for interviews. This is great for product demos. You can just create that uh, special moment that happened on live and put it on social media because short content definitely creates a lot of um, engagement and a lot of people are comfortable consuming something that's just two minutes long, but you can get the most essential part of your stream in front of them. And also you can always say in the links, in the comments, hey, if you wanna watch the whole thing, here's the link. And another way you can repurpose your content is email campaign. So if you if you look at the, if you download your stream, you also have the link to your end destination, right? Like some people were asking, can we come back and listen to this to this conversation to this Q and A? Yes, you can. You can come back to YouTube or Facebook and rewatch this video. So this is something you can also do in your email campaign. If the conversation was great. If your guest was very important, you can say, hey, this is my conversation. These are the key takeaways bullet points for those people who don't have time to watch the thing. But if you want to watch the whole thing, here's the link. And this is how you can recycle and repurpose the content and drive your community, both from your email list, as well as from your uh, social media community, and also offer something to people who prefer to consume your content via podcast. So I guess this is, uh, we are getting close to the moment when we are going to share our promo code and our special, special um, solution. If I may add, add just a few questions. Uh, we got a few sure. questions, but I'm just gonna highlight Mike. Um, uh, Mike asked, how do you design, designate someone to a, a co-host? So, uh, and there's just a few questions that are regarding the uh, co-host from um, awesome. Kiwi as well, if there's a, we both logged in. So both of us logged in as a host. 
to the stream. So we both host in the stream. So I have the same functionality as Anya has. Um, but in reality, if you're a guest, you can also read. There's a lot of functionality that's available to you. You can also read the um, comments and you can mention comments that you want to be spotlighted or highlighted. Um, you can on, uh, there's also private chat between you and the host and you can highlight anything information like uh, Anastasia, stop talking. <laughs> uh, you can highlight all the information right there in the chat as well. Um, or uh, continue talking uh, as well, uh, why not? So, uh, but in our case scenario, we both logged in in the same account uh, and we are hosting, we both of us host. So in general, two people can host the stream, but as Anya mentioned earlier as well, that you can toggle yourself off from the stream and you will not be visible or heard. As soon as you toggle yourself off, you are not heard on the stream. So. Um, this is also a pretty cool way if you are streaming music or if you are streaming uh, like a co-host as well, just being there uh, in the green screen or invisible shadow that does uh, all the response in the chats or um, and does all the manipulations with the stream as well because um, there's more things you can do. For example, ready for this? Boom. Oh, wow. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there's more manipulations you can do, and obviously you can um, uh, you can obviously just change a different layout so, and uh, do more manipulations there as well. As a host, uh, definitely. The new layouts are pretty cool. Uh, so this is our standard one, right? The one that we've been using forever. This is one of my favorites. You have the selfie mode uh, that kind of like maximizes and zooms you a little bit. We also have the ability to put one person as, as a main speaker, so to say. And the same drag and drop function works here. You can just drag and drop and change us around. We have this functionality. This pretty cool layout when you have the person maximized, but the other person is kind of right under them. And of course, the side version, which is great for uh, you sharing your screen and two people or more talking at the same time. All right. And let's let me bring our graphic back. So we have our names here. And I think it's time for our special discount for those people who hang out with us today. What do you think? Yeah, 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 exactly. We want to reward the people and get them all enabled to start streaming. That's exciting. Um, accelerating the impact of lives. Absolutely. So you guys uh, mentioned that uh, some features that you're really interested in are paid. Uh, so we really want to say thank you for you staying with us today for your great questions, for great comments. This is the promo code that will allow you to get 25% off any plan, any pay plan that we have, whether it's monthly or annual. This is for new users only. If you already have a paid plan with us, it will still work only if you upgrade. So if you're on standard plan and you're going to go to professional or premium, this, this discount will still be applicable to you. But if you already have a premium or professional plan, you cannot apply that retrospectively. But for new users, here you go. And to make it easier for you guys, I'm also going to drop a link in the chat uh, that just allows you to click on the link and you immediately get to the pricing page with this uh, discount already enabled. We do want to do more of those sessions with you guys later on. We're actually starting to do this Q and A's and product demos weekly. We will select different people depending on what you guys are doing, what stage of live streaming journey you're on, but we always welcome your feedback. If you have any specific topics that you would like us to cover, if you have any questions that you would feel like we should dedicate a whole Q&A session to, please let us know in the comments to this, to this video on YouTube, Facebook, or LinkedIn. And we will be also coming back and responding to some of your questions on LinkedIn and Facebook, like let those comments stay in so we, we can come back and kind of um, respond to those questions that we didn't have a chance to respond in real time. So that is, uh, that is it for today. Um, I think Thank we you. only have the high five left. Thank you so much, guys, for staying and sticking around. It was a pleasure to uh, um, show you around of Restream. We hope that in 2021, uh, you're going to increase your viewers, you learn, uh, you're going to increase your sales, you're going to increase your engagement, and we will be exciting to be part of your marketing strategy as well. Uh, it's definitely time for a high five since we changed now. I'm oh different, uh, different side. Ready? Different side. Ready? Two, one, three, two, and three. 
Yay! We did it. Oh. We did it. We did it. Uh, usually it's not awesome. that straightforward. <laughs> uh, it worked. Thank it you worked. guys uh, for sticking around. Uh, please join us uh, for more views. And uh, don't forget, next week we're going to be in the same time, uh, covering more detailed uh, on studio, specifically on some studio features, and more specific hidden gems in Restream as well with pre recorded. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today and talk to you soon. Cheers and have a wonderful rest of your week, guys. Bye-bye. Cheers.